So I see you've all met. So what's this all about, Dom? Yeah, man, why'd you drag us halfway around the world? Because we got a job. Why do you think you guys chose Rio to, to, to be the premiere? If you look at the last Fast and Furious, there's a scene on the beach with Letty and Dom, and Letty says, I hear Rio's nice this time of year. And she's referencing the fact that Matt Schultz, my old childhood friend, is living in Rio. So once my character's broken out at the beginning of this movie, the natural place for them to go is to see Vince in Rio. We're talking about breaking into a police station. This is crazy. This is a hundred million dollars. You say what? I'm down. So in this movie, uh, it's hard to tell who's the bad guy, who's the good guy. What do you think it's the moral of these characters? Good and bad is not always black and white. I think my character, especially Brian, I think, you know, he's running for his life, but I think he's more free running than he has been living as a police officer and law enforcement because he wasn't being true to himself. We just went from the middle of the most wanted list to the very top. You gotta keep running now. Running ain't freedom. Next door, break it down. I'm still not sure if your character is a good guy or a bad guy. What do you think? Well, I think he's a good, bad guy. I think that there's gonna be a lot of emotions because I am hunting down and chasing their hero uh, in a very intense, relentless way. All right, listen up. The men we're after are professional runners. We find them, we take them as a team, and we bring them back. And above all else, we don't ever, ever let them get in the cars. When you did the, fir uh, the first Fast and Furious, did you imagine it would be such a success? Uh, I didn't think I would be here 10 years later. I felt like we had made something interesting and substantial. And I knew after the first test screening that we struck a chord in pop culture. Go!